The first Earth Day in 1970 was something that was developing and launched uh, just as I was um, winding my way through high school. I remember it very, very vividly because it made me realize that there were issues in the environment, issues in conservation, and this was something that really opened my eyes to the fact that um, people were doing some bad things to the earth, and it just was uh, amazing to me that so many generations could exist on this earth, and all of a sudden, this generation, the one that I was part of, was could possibly be its undoing. And I was basically hooked. I knew what I was going to do for the rest of my life. I cannot believe how lucky I've been to work in this field and to have had that happy moment of being welcomed into this heritage network. It was um, a, an incredibly energizing time because we knew that this was something that could really change the way scientific conservation decision making was made. It wasn't long before we were the main data provider for the Fish and Wildlife Service or the Army Corps or BLM or the Forest Service, on and on. I think that the landscape of this country would look very different if those heritage programs were not in place. The Heritage Network is as critical as it ever was, particularly in an era of climate change and the need to plan on an eco-regional basis. Uh, NatureServe as a, an organization that can um, look at conservation issues from a very broad, from an upper level way, is really critical in uh, success in this century. My name is Loring Schwartz. I'm a lifelong professional conservationist and I give to NatureServe.